us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the yet another new day to pour thy thing through your mind. It is a double edged sword. And may it pierce and remove that which is in our imagination. In Jesus' name. Amen. We continue with the study of Romans chapter number 3, and today we look at verse uh, 5 to 7, which says, But if our unrighteousness brings out God's righteousness more clearly, what sh shall we say? That God is unjust in bringing his love on us? I am using a human argument, certainly not. If that were so, how could God judge the world? Someone might argue, if my falsehood enhances God's truthfulness and so increases his glory, why am I still condemned as a sinner? I like the way Paul uh, asks a question and then he says that indeed he is speaking plainly in the human or the carnal way of thinking that uh, the righteousness of God will bring, or the when we are unrighteous, it brings out the righteousness of God. You know, if you stand to compare man and God, God is righteous, man is sinful. Then he continues to ask, then if this is so, does it mean that God is unjust when he judges us? Or should we continue sinning so that God's righteousness can be seen in our lives? And he says, no. Because if we know what we are supposed to do, brethren, and then we do it along deliberately so that God can be seen to be righteous by not judging us by what we are doing, then that is where we go wrong. And that is what Paul is saying that far be it, that we should not uh, presume because God is righteous and is not, he doesn't judge us unfairly. You know, it's just like the way that a child will try a parent doing the wrong thing because that you know your father and your mother loves you. God loves us, yes, but God hates sin. And because God is holy, we are also called unto holiness. So we need to be careful in our work, in our talk, in everything that we do. So that all that we do, yes, we are men and we are weak, but even when we fall into sin, let it not be deliberate. And then God in his mercy will forgive us. But when we sin again and again, provoking the Holy Spirit of God, because we are redeemed, we are set free, we are not captives to sin anymore, brethren, so we cannot continue living like those who do not know God. May the Lord help us. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you, even that you have called us unto holiness. Help us, Lord, that we may seek to be holy like you are. In Jesus' name we pray. 